that's Joey Votto, also a friend of the show. Water the stands at Great American Ballpark <laughs> on Wednesday in a Barry Larkin jersey. Now, the injured first baseman started in the upper deck. He was taking photos with fans, signing autographs. How about, like, look at this. Little dudes loved him. And then he went into the TV booth with John Sadak as an analyst. So he's been doing that uh, throughout his stint there on the IL. Uh, this seems like it's just so Joey Votto. We had him on the show. That's just how he is. Joey is an amazing person. He's like a he, he's really is a human being first. He he cares uh, even about I, I can remember being on first base and I shared this story once where he was asking me about what I eat, how my, what my diet's like, and like <laughs> but that's him. Like he's just kind of a little bit different. And, and I love that about him because he's himself all the time. He's authentic. And what you're seeing there, a guy who loves the game, wants to share the game, wants to go out and, and make sure fans have a great experience. And he understands the kind of footprint he can leave upon the fans when he's in a situation like that. It's just so cool to see. And, and I love seeing him interact the way, that way, with, especially with the kids. I mean, get this game really involved with the, with the youth again. So cool to see. Hannah, it seems like he gets it. It's so much bigger than just the game. So we got to thinking. You were sitting at home with your husband watching the Yankees game uh, the other night and last night. Who would you want to watch a game with an MLB player and I would say past or present player at this feels like a little bit like a suck up answer here's the thing you guys are gonna go for <laughs> fun people Joey Votto who's so much fun I'm sure you'd have a blast but I got a job to do I need to learn about the game of baseball so I picked Carlos Correa because I feel like there's no player that when I talk to them do I learn more about baseball and I would love to know what he sees when he's watching a game do you think he's such a smart player he's so invested in sort of like the, the advanced stats. He and really does. He's and broke it down with a lot of really, Rizzo he on high really heat. talk the game, and I would be so, I mean, yeah, I'm like, I got I got to make the most of that experience. I mean, <laughs> I'm going to go to school when I'm watching a game with a baseball player. So I pick Correa. I think that's a great pick. I, I think it's a great pick, and I'm going to say Correa looks like a fun guy, too, so I think you get a little bit of both. I'm going to go, I, I went kind of along the same lines, and for me, um, it's Shohei Otani, and Ooh. it's very simple. Uh, look, this guy has had experiences playing the game that even I and, and most big leaguers haven't had and will never have. So I would just love to hear kind of his insights. But he also has the insight of being a premier big league pitcher, a premier big league hitter. Uh, there's different ways that conversation would go. And I find when you talk to guys who didn't grow up, in the United States, whether it's Japan, Korea, Dominican, Venezuela. I mean, I played with people from all over the world. You just get different um, and interesting viewpoints, yeah. and I love that. And I think getting to sit down and watch a game with him and talk to him about what he sees, what's going on, I just think you would hear so many different angles of the game that maybe I wouldn't have – I would have probably never heard. Okay, but you have watched baseball games. Yep, a lot. Players. Who is your favorite that you actually got to watch a game with? Oh, there are so many. I mean, I've, I've been on the bench with a lot of guys I love I love talk. Actually, Chris Young, who's part of this network right now, um, being at a game with him and talking baseball with him during – the game and you know we're just sitting there we're, we're on the bench we're watching you learn a lot just you're talking about your approach what you would do in certain situations what you're seeing um, you know if an outfielder makes a play if, if something happens on defense you're just there's always engaging personalities and as a bench player that was something that it really helped me stay in the game not just for those specific games but if I went five six days in between a start that really helped me lock in for my approach my next start and kept me kind of where I wanted to be. And I think that's the best thing as a bench player, kids, if you're watching, uh, like if you can just talk stay the game, engaged. Stay, stay engaged, engaged because it will keep you at least – from the mental side, which is the biggest part of baseball, it'll keep you fresh and ready to go when you get your it's opportunities. It's easy to let your mind drift in the dugout, yep. so I, I see exactly what you're saying. Keith, I'm very curious to hear what your answer is. Uh, quickly for me, and shout out to Votto from the TikTok stuff and uh, Field the Dreams being mic'd up and then doing what he just did. He's such a great ambassador for the game. Hopefully he stays in the game after he's done. But my pick would be J-Rod. Mm. Julio Rodriguez, he's a young phenom. He's my favorite young player in the game. Uh, you talk about different perspectives from players from different parts of the world. And then also, man, like watching him in the Home Run Derby and listening to his song selection as he was hitting <laughs> the baseballs out, I could see me and him at the game, like judging guys' walk-up songs and like really being into the whole like game, you know. Yankee Stadium, they play good music. Like J-Rod and I have a good time watching the game there. Oh, you guys are watching a Yankees game. Okay.
In That'll person, probably not never on happen, television. But, you know. Of course, yeah. He's like, we're not going to watch Mariners. We're watching the Yankees. Me and J-Rod and Legends chilling, watching no the Yankees. No big deal, eating prime rib, <laughs> limited <laughs> hot dogs. Yep. Uh, yeah, I, I think I'm going to go with a backstop because they're kind of the field generals, and I'm not just sucking up to Anthony Recker here sitting to my left. Uh, I, I think it's that they see the game differently, mm. and you can talk pitch sequencing. You can talk uh, from the perspective at the plate as a hitter. I just think uh, catchers really know a lot. I think that's why a lot of them end up becoming managers. So I'm going with Yadier Molina. Uh, given his experience, what he's seen, and uh, just his overall perspective, I think seen would be all. really interesting. Uh, like you guys said, being here at MLB Network, we had the Clubhouse show with CC Zbathia, CY's been on there, uh, multiple former players who bring such interesting perspectives mm -hmm. that uh, I've always enjoyed working here just for that mm -hmm. in and of itself. So Yachty, I think, is the person I'd like it's to It's a great one. I mean, I would love to. Let's talk to Yachty. I would learn, a, even though it's the same perspective I've had, I would still learn a ton from him. So, man, the things he's seen and accomplished.